So in this video, we're going to cover how to make an error detection function. Let me show you what I mean. Say you have a program that's supposed to click on this circle and fill it. If this circle gets filled, it's going to do something else. However, until the circle gets filled, it's going to wait to see if the circle got filled. This is a common example of something that you're going to have in your scripts. Here's the problem though. Say the mouse moves over the button, but clicks almost right there on accident. The way your program is set up is it's only gonna be searching right here inside the circle for it to turn black. As a result, it's just gonna be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Problems like this will break your program. Even worse still, let's say you're making a bot for a game that has bot detection. Now, let's say that the function that you're using to click on this, it will keep on moving the mouse and clicking until this turns black. What you're going to run into is a program that keeps on clicking in the same spot over and over for hours. That's going to trigger the bot detection. Now your great bot got you detected and now you're banned. To prevent this problem, I've come up with a little workaround. Let me show you what I mean. So we're back to the beginning without the bot having clicked yet. Now the bot is going to try to click and it accidentally messes up. It's still waiting for this circle to turn black. The function we're going to code today is only going to wait so many times and if it say loops 25 times and it still hasn't turned black, it's gonna do something else. For example, if you know there's a chance the background's gonna turn black instead, and the error detection mechanism was triggered and said, hey, it might not be working right, you could do a separate function that'll check to see if the background got changed instead. If the background got changed instead, we're gonna fix that, and then we're gonna click here instead. Using a method like this, you can help make sure that your bot doesn't mess up. I'm sure everybody watching this video has heard of at least one situation or one joke where they saw what was obviously a bot, a player running into the wall for three hours straight. A method like this will make sure that that doesn't happen. It's actually really easy to code, so with that said, let's get started. 